All right, we have another book. Uh, this might be a very important one here. Unfortunately, I cannot find this book physically. This one's kind of hard to get. Let's go to the name of this book. <clears throat> is The Races of Men. This is by uh, Robert Knox, MD. You hear? Yeah, back in the year of 1850. Now, this is probably the the most important book that I've found. This one really has some things that's going to be a game changer for a lot of folks, especially some of us who don't believe who we are. After all of this information has been put in our faces and we choose not to believe it. OK, as I get down here on page 38, yeah, we're looking at the Scandinavian. I mean, I know that don't have a whole lot to do with us, but the, yeah, I have some of that in me according to this fake, this fake test. But that's what to say. OK. All right. Um, but what we really want to get at is down here at the bottom. It's 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 a lie that's being populated in the earth really, really hugely today. And it's this lie right here. And this is the same lie they was telling back then. So that that amazed me. So I had to go in and go in on this a little bit. And it, it says, says now whether the earth be overpopulated or not. Now, this is some new stuff. We think this is something new. They're talking about this overpopulation of the earth. No, this is something these wicked people have been talking about for a long, long time. Oh, almost 200 years is what this book is. But let's go here. Uh, it says, now whether the, the earth be populated or not, one thing is certain, that the strong will always grasp at the property, uh, uh, <clears throat> the property and lands of the weak. <laughs> Basically, it's telling you exactly what's going on. You know, that these guys right here, the Saxon race, they came out and they took everything from everybody all over this world. But they knew some stuff that we w weren't privy to at the time. And as you read this book, well, it's a long hard read, by the way. It's like just over 300 pages. But boy, this book right here, whenever you get a chance, I I'll post a, uh, the link to this book. Uh, I actually got this book from uh, the drop from Drop Radio. Guys. Anyway, let's take a look here. Yes. As the Dutch boar whence come his contempt and inward dislike to the Hottentots, the Negro, the Caffrey, ask him for his warrant to reduce the unhappy races to bondage and to slavery. See, they had a, a, a perpetual hatred towards anybody who looked like this here. Now the the hot now, now there's something that you really need to pay attention to here. Let me see if I can if I can do this. Let's look up this word here. Now we look up the word. Let's look up this word. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. When we look at this word here, it says the Hottentots used to refer to the Koik the Koikhoi people. Let's go a little bit more. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, basically. What they're saying is uh, this is a certain type of people in Africa. Okay, for all you house of countries Negroes, all right, this should tell you something here. There are different uh, types of Negroes all over the world, just like there are different types of um, Anglo-Saxons all over the world. They don't let you call them. An Englishman would go on. He, he, an Englishman would be so pissed off if you call him a Russian. And likewise, a Russian it would be pissed off if you could call him an Italian. And because I lived over in that area for so long in the military, I can look at their faces and tell the difference between a German and a Frenchman and an Italian and a, a, a person from Norwegian. I can look at their faces and tell the difference between these people. But here in America, <laughs> Because we still believe in what the pilgrims have taught us. They taught us that you black, you black, you from Africa, and you black. And we believe that. Now, let's take a look at the Negro. Come on, give it to me. We're going to look up the Negro. All right, a member of dark skinned group of people, originally native to Africa, south of Sahara more uh relating to black people okay why is this not included with the hot and tots or the caffrey we're gonna look up that too why is it why don't they just call them all the same 
you broke them down here you see this here that's a that's a list that's a comma and a comma and a comma okay a person who's listening to this right now say man this guy's trying so hard not to be african he's trying so hard my question to you is why in the hell are you trying so hard to be african why are you not looking trying to find who you are open up some books and read and stop listening to everybody here there's a lot of us out here trying to figure this out we're leaving we, we're leaving traces all over the place but you're walking right past them so nope nope that's not right no, no. anyway let's continue mark as you can see we're looking at different types of melanated races different types hot and tot negro cathray let's explain i'm gonna see this a lot okay it says ask him for his warrant to reduce his uh the unhappy these unhappy races these unhappy races that's a race that's a race and that's a race come on guys just because of you you got melon don't mean your brothers okay ask him for his warrant to reduce these unhappy races to bondage and to slavery uh to rob them of their lands and to enslave their children to rob them of their lands and enslave their children you are going to learn a lot in this book right here i hope so like i say when i'm when i'm buying these old books you open up these books and you read these books but you pay attention to what you're saying don't don't skip over one word and you listen to what this author is not trying to tell you because he's not trying to tell you a lot of stuff that he slips up and let it and let it out to deny them the inalienable right of men to a portion of the earth on which he was born all right sound pretty powerful there all right we got a little bit we got a little meat right here on this one let's go it says when the word race as applied to man is spoken of the english mind wanders immediately to distant countries to negroes and hottentots red indians and savages what is this here these are different races here they're talking about they're talking about one the negro race two they're talking about the hottentots Three, they're talking about the Red Indians and the savages, or whatever they mean by savages. But now, what I did notice as we progress in this book, they started grouping all of the melanated races together to include Chinese. Yeah, we'll get into that a little bit. Yeah, some melanated Chinese. And they talk about this here back in the 1800s. All right, let's continue to march. And uh, let's see what we got here. Um, he admit that there are people who differ a good deal from us, but not in Europe. There, mankind are clearly one family. It is the Caucasian race, says one. It is the primitive race, says another. Hijack, huge hijack right there. You see it? And they know better than that today. Don't nobody say that mess today. You see this here? Hijack. And oh, I'm glad, I'm glad this here shows up. There's quite a few hijacks in this book too. So again, when you're reading these things, you have to pay attention to what he's not trying to say. Uh, right here, another hijack. Right here. Okay. He admit that there are people who differ a good deal from us. But in Europe, there, mankind are clearly one family. That is so not true. It is not true. I seen it with my own eyes. And if uh, some of you out here are listening to this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, it says, but the objective of this work is to show that the European races, so-called, differ from each other as widely as the Negro does from the Bushman. The Negro from the Bushman. Notice this here. But the uh, the object of this work is to show that the Euro the European races, so-called, different from each other as widely as the negro does from the bushman negro differs from the bushman negro differs from the bushman oh, i guess uh, up here he kind of um goes along with what i was saying about europeans they're not the same either okay all right should read down a little bit further before i got it back. anyway it says right here again but the object of this work is to show that the european races so-called differ from each other as widely as the negro does from the bushman the negro and the bushman is not the same to so all you so-called africans americans you are different let's see what's bushman 
a member of several Aboriginal people of Southern Africa, mm -hmm. especially of the Kalahari, Kalahari Desert. These people are not Negroes, people. These people were not considered Negroes. This is the Negro right here. They're different. Again, you like to hear from a from a, from a European. I didn't write this book, so you hearing me read European words. It says uh, the Caffrey from the Hottentot. So therefore, two more dog races that are different: the Caffrey and the Hottentot. Okay, now this is where it gets it gets real good here. From the the, the Caffrey from the Hottentots, the Red Indians of America, from the Esquimaux, the the Esquimaux from the Basque. Now it says the Red Indians from America and the Esquimaux. What is the Esquimaux? You might ask. Let's take a look, cause this is gonna show up a couple more times. Look up Esquimaux. And Eskimo. Eskimo. Eskimo is the Eskimo. Okay. Now we're saying we're saying that the Red Indians of America and Eskimo look look different. And the Eskimo from the Basque. What is this? Here? Basque. What is Basque? What is this? A member of people living in the Basque country of France, and Spain. Okay. And it says that they totally differ from each other. The difference between these and these, the difference between the Red Indian and the Eskimo, the difference between the, the Negro and the, and the Bushman, uh, it, uh, the, and, oh, also, and the Caffrey from the Hottentot. It's difference between them, between them. If anybody knows anything about this guy right here, boy, what an asshole this guy was. Boy, this was a real piece of work right here. Johann Blumenbach and Pritchett have misled the public mind so much in this respect that a century may elapse before it is disabused. These guys right here are the reason that everybody is so confused on the earth as far as who everybody is. Yeah, they really mixed up. Let me, let me just clear, let's see if we can clear that out so you can remove the highlights on this thing. Blumenbach and Pritchard. Those two guys right there. Boy, they really screwed this, uh, they, they, they screwed the earth up on who everybody is. Okay, now, you remember we was talking about the difference between the Esquimax and the the native Indians or the native red Indians is what, 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 what they said. It says, uh, the red Indians of America from the Esquimax. Okay, now this is huge. This is really, really huge people. Go to uh, page 50 and you're gonna see the reason they made a distinction between the red Indians of America and the Esquimax is because of this right here. It says the Esquimax, again, we're gonna look it up and see what it is. We wanna make sure it's the same thing on this page, which I know it is. It means Esquimax. Look up Esquimax, look that up. And again, it means the Eskimos, right? The Eskimos, people up in the uh, up in the polar regions, uh, the north Pol northern polar regions. The Eskimos are nearly black. Again, I won't have to read that again, right? The Eskimos or the Eskimos are nearly black, or shall we say, a darker shade of brown? Okay. Yet they have lived amidst eternal snows. The Tasmanian is possible darker than the Negro. The Tasmanian is possibly darker than the Negro, but the Tasmanian is also melanated under a climate as mild as England. So what they're basically telling you is climate don't matter, people. Climate ain't gonna make you darker or lighter, like that light that a lot of people think, oh, well, um, all people are saying it's because of, uh, some went up here and they changed and uh, in Africa, the noses are wider because they needed to get more air comprised to the Europeans that know their, or their noses are not as wide because they don't need as much air. But let me tell you something. I know some Europeans that catch hell breathing in Europe. Yes because of their noses are so, the, the pilots swell up. And they catch a hell, they catch hell breathing and have to go to the doctor. So, all right, let's continue march here. It says, climate has no influence. Uh, again, this is exactly what I was saying, right? Let's go and put this. Climate has no influence in permanently altering the variety of races. Not my words, 
this destroys what a lot of us think. This destroys what a lot of us were taught. We've been taught lies. And you know, I, again, I have to, I have to say it. Uh, some of us, even some of us in this community that's waking up to who we are today in the earth, you turn your nose up against certain things that the Europeans have embedded in your heads and you will not let it go. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna mention it. The earth is flat. I don't give a darn what you got to say. It's flat. You can't make water bend over oh, over the top. Uh, also, ain't nobody been in no damn moon. Stop it. That's silly. You want to hold on to that? But this right here. Oh, oh, this makes me feel good. Oh, oh, we, we're not that. Man, they lied to you about everything. It's not just you they lied to. Hell, they lied to their cousins and, 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 and babies and children, too. The whole world's been lied to. Let's continue. Destroy them. We're talking about climate again, right? Destroy them, it may and does, but it cannot convert them into any other race, nor can this be done even by the act of parliament, which to a thoroughgoing Englishman with all his amusing nationalities will appear as something amazing. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Coptic race. This is kind of cool because it's going to keep coming up here and here and again. All right. The Coptic race is no more extinct than is the ancient Mexican. What is the Coptic race? Let's keep reading and see if this is going to answer it for us. And it says, and even now is questionable whether the mixed barbarians and savage races of slaves now called Egyptians, Coptic Egyptians, will ultimately stand their ground. Fayette, though they be by imports from Nubia, and the White Nile from Greece and from Asia Minor. Man, there's so many dark races around the world. Man, they have lied to us. Man, they have lightened us up. Again, I did say they have lightened us up. Some of these folks out here you call them whites and all of this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, uh, a YouTube video going on. It's probably about three or four years old. Well, this guy, he looks so white. But he started talking to you and telling you about his history. Psh, confusion of face. Big time. Big time. Also, this book is going to tell you a little bit about uh, what happens to those types of the, the, the mixed the mixed races. It's, it'll let you know that uh, they can't stay that way. Maybe they can, but their children can't. Either they're going to go this way or they're going to go the other way. Egyptians in the Hellenistic and Roman periods were all melanated. They're going to say this several times several times again this is a, a good example of what i say when you read these books you listen to what he's not trying to tell you he didn't tell you that but we had to go through other sources like right here and now we see let me go back and read this here again um, ba -ba 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 -ba. it says they are not arabs a motley crew motley crew meaning a mixture they are a motley crew as i understand destined to cease when imports are withdrawn and to assume a form traceable to the dominant blood now circulating to i mean be it copt or arab nubian or negro melanated melanated back then melanated uh, uh, yeah. nubian or negro different people darker skin all right, let's move on to the next one. What's the next page? We're going to go here on page 74. Here we go. Now, this here, you cannot beat it. It's, it says the cops were Af African, which is like I told you from this last thing. We looked it up. Let's look it up again. Why not? Who the cops? Native Egyptian. Okay. The cops were African, the Persian, Ag Asiatic. Uh, they were different races of men. That is all. You hear that? They were different. The black Egyptians of Herodotus have not been seen since that time. That ends that question, right? Were the Egyptians black or white? They already, they know this. They know the deal. They know the deal. Or shall I say, were the Egyptians melanated or non-melanated? That's a better term. Let's move on to the next page. Well, let's go on down here and let's look up at this. It says, labor, you cannot. Hence, it's necessary for a black for a black population, your pale, wan, and sticky offspring would in half a century 
be non-productive. Did you hear that? That's what's going on here in America, right? This is what they're talking about. It says, face to face with the energetic Negro. Your color must alter. First brown, then black. Look at Haiti. It can't keep it, man. Uh, what do we have here? Let's see. Let's go up one, one, one sentence because I should have highlighted that first. I didn't do that. Highlight that now. It says, when the act of separation from the so-called mother country took place, the population of Mexico and Peru consisted of, this is what Mexico and Peru uh, consisted of. Uh, before I read that, remember the, uh, the video I had with those pictures? It shows how the Mexicans and the Peruvians look with those little nappy hair froze. All of them had little nappy air froze, except for we saw one picture way in the back and it was kind of suspect. But the whole book showed the men with nappy hair froze. But let's continue to march here. It says, when the act of separating from the so-called mother country took place, the population of Mexico and Peru consisted of one, pure Spaniards, whether European or Creole, it matters. It matters not. Pure Indians, indigenous people. Remember once again those those uh, uh, nappy Afros. That's what they were. That's what they were. Indians. In our minds, we think Indians mean um, uh, the folks we see uh, that we're calling uh, Indians or Native Americans today. Indian means uh, uh, the indigenous people of the land. What they found here, and they start calling them Indians. Again, they look like the people of India back before they were whited out. Okay. Well, again, pure Indians. That is the original and only true Americans, cop colored people, the natives, and three, a motley crew comprised of a mixture of these more or less tinge. Number four, what, what else was found here? A sprinkling of Negro blood, pure or mixed with Indian. This is what they found here. Uh, pure or mixed with Indians. And as you notice, when we read about the Eskimos, the Eskimos were dark people. They were dark people. So every time you look around and say, well, he's a Negro or uh, it's confusing what they have done to everybody. And this is how we got lost. We got lost when they changed us from being indigenous people to Negro. And it says a sprinkling of Negro blood, pure or mixed with Indians and European. This is where it's going to get a little trippy. Let's see. By the act of this union, the influx of European blood by which alone the pure race could be maintained against climate and against the continual aggression of the other more numerous races was suddenly withdrawn. <laughs> Even now it is rapidly disappeared. Even now, it rapidly disappears. As in a century, it will become extinct. For in these climates, a European race cannot labor, cannot appropriate, cannot appropriate the soil to themselves. Now, why in the hell you think they brought Africans over here to do farming when the Europeans couldn't do it here? They picked the people off the land and they enslaved them. And they still are enslaved today. They think they're not. They think they're free. I did. I thought I was free. I spent uh, I spent a career in the, in the army thinking I was free. So stupid. But I, I am not going to take it back. Let's get back onto this here. I'm getting ready to start PTSD rolling out again. Uh, let's go here. I uh, cannot appropriate the soil to themselves. Cannot multiply their offspring. Now, and we all know what's going on here in America today. We all know this. But settling with the cessation of the supply of English blood, the mulatto of all shades must also cease. That's another big problem that they had. That's why they went around the world killing the men and raping the women, trying to make themselves live longer. They wanted the world to look like them, but they don't realize every, all things must go back to what was put on that land originally, which is going to happen. It's not a, it's, it's not a, 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 a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Even the scientists are saying that to this day about America is going brown. America is returning to what it was. That's all it's doing. Everything has got to put, everything cleanses itself. Even the planet cleanses itself. We don't understand how it does it. We know we got springs of water coming up and we got filthy water all over the planet. 
but we still got springs of clean water that's pop that's popping up it's filtering itself it's cleaning itself somewhere anyway continue mark uh, where was he he said he cannot ex uh, extend his race the mulatto can he cannot extend his race for if but for if he is of no race yeah a mulatto is of no race because of there is a mix of the two so basically what you're looking at is when you got a mulatto he has a choice really really it'll tell you that in here he has a choice either he can, he will he or she, he let's stay with he because that's where the seed comes from i know ladies anything i'm saying about that is real if you get a dna test it'll prove it to you go get yourself a dna test ladies and then try to get your entire dna it, it, they'll never give it to you because they can't they have to get your father or your brother to to come along with you and they have to have his dna to get your father's dna they can't get your father's DNA out of you. It just doesn't work. You only get half. Anyway, get on back to what we were talking about. Uh, he said he cannot extend his race for he is he is of no race. There is no place for him in nature. So as soon as he has no longer the pure blood of some other race to intermingle with, he ceases to be. Hijack, watch this. Receding towards the black. Receding, they, they, they chose. Receding towards the black or advancing to the white, as the case may be. Advancing to the white, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Another hijack, right? Because of what he's gonna do is tell you later on that <laughs> he's gonna tell you just the opposite. Again, I, I like uh, listening to what they're not trying to tell you. I really like this kind of stuff. It's really cool. All right, continue on with uh, physiological laws. Uh, this one is a good one down here on page. 89 okay page 89 this this is really some good stuff here watch this here it says of india we need say nothing nobody not even lord russell uh proposed colonizing india in the antilles the celtics race failed wait a minute what is the antilles look up antilles a group of islands that form the greater part of West Indies. Ooh, West Indies. Huh. I read a book earlier when it said the, the slaves were brought from West Indies. Let's see what they're talking about here. Now we know that these here are the Antilles. It's in the West Indies. It says in the, in the Antilles, the Celtic race failed. Now who is the Celtics? The Boston Celtics? Nah, hardly not. It says relating to the Celts, or their languages, which can uh, constitute a branch of Indo-European family and include Irish, Scottish, Gaelic, and Welsh. In other words, the colonizers. So we're gonna say colonizers there. And let's read this again. It says, in the Antilles, the Celtic race failed. Napoleon himself never ventured to renew the hopeless struggle with the climate and the Negro race. What? Wait a minute. Now, when have you heard that no Napoleon was fighting against the Negro? I never read it, and I'm gonna have to be honest with you, but I did hear the stories of how Napoleon was going through certain places all over the world, blowing the noses and the lips off of the statues and everything he found. Hmm, I didn't know this. Napoleon himself, uh, let's go and highlight that there. Napoleon himself never ventured to renew the hopeless struggle with the climate and the Negro. So this is saying that somebody couldn't handle this here because of this guy was right there in those darker areas. I mean, those hotter areas. So Napoleon and the Celtics or the um, colonizers or the pilgrims could not handle the climate that the Negro could. I read something else about... Uh, the Negro wasn't getting uh, malaria here in the, in, in the Americas. Anyway, that's good. That, that, boy, I, I need to pull that book up because that's a, that's a precept. That's a major precept. Anyway, let's continue to march here. It says, uh, Spanish America is at its end. What this, man, something, there's a hijack going up. Boy, we have been rocked to sleep and we missed a lot. Again, Spanish America is at its end. What What's going on here? And it says, 
and the Canning's Republics foresee their fate. Dude, I'm telling you, something happened in this world that we forgot. Something happened we forgot. Man, let's continue to march here. Our West Indian colonies are no colonies. Everyone knows this now. What the hell? Our West Indian colonies are no colonies. Everyone knows this now. And if there be any, and if there be any who believe that the European races are not occupying Florida, and the uh, and the countries bordering on the Gulf of Mexico can colonize and supplant the colored races, they will, I think, find themselves in error. What the hell? Look at this here. Boom! Wow! <laughs> but I took my breath away. Let's read that again. Our West Indian colonies are no colonies. Everyone knows this now. And if there be any who believe that the European races now occupying Florida and the countries bordering of the Gulf of Mexico can colonize and supplant the colored races, they will. I think find themselves in error. There you go. We were already here. This is enough. Just that little sentence alone, looking like poor. Just that one sentence alone is all we need. This was written almost 200 years ago. All right, let's continue to march here. Man, I'm getting hyped now. Let's see here. Oh, here the two I have spoken for the most part of the transplanting of a European races to the countries which, if not tropical, are at least unhealthy or inimical to European life. What does that word mean? I think that's kind of important. What's that word? Because most, most of us never heard that word before. Let's learn something while on our way to learning something. It says tending to obstruct or harm. So in other words, the Europeans could not live in these here tropical areas because they're used to colder climates. Gulf of Mexico. Where's the Gulf of Mexico? The Gulf of Mexico is all of Southern America and uh, Eastern of the Mexico and uh, Northern Brazil and all of the Indies. That's something to think about, isn't it? This is what they wrote. Wow. It is, some it is something to get this fact admitted. It is something to get this fact admitted. So basically, without air conditioning of some type or the way they had to build their houses here, the Europeans couldn't live here. Uh, what's the next page? Next page. That was a very important page there. Oh, we got a little bit more down here. What did I miss? I missed something. I only wanted to uh, bring this one point out down here. You can read all that if you want to. You can go ahead and pause it, but I'm getting ready to zoom in. All right. Kind of important. Yeah, here it says, with every other law, and influence which which feudalism and religion can devise to enslave the souls and bodies of men we need to stay away from that our people are so deeply involved in this it's ridiculous when i was doing that uh that little picture show and i've seen uh seen those pictures in there where these people were melanated with little short afros down at the bottom and they were standing under a statue that looked like half man half goat and he had the head of a european religion it's destroying us religion yes i am one of those who believe in the bible i believe in the, the old testament really really i do believe in the old testament and i have proved on recent videos that the new testament is extremely flawed starting with matthew extremely flawed check out my channel anyway continue to move let's move on 
stay away from religion. What did I have highlighted? Uh, it says in the southern states, the laborer is the Negro. All right, again, the southern states, right? Now you remember what we read earlier about those folks cannot live around the Gulf of Mexico. Let's go back to this page right here. I'm gonna read that again. It says uh, our West West India Company uh, colonies are no colonies. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this now. Let's start again. Our West India India colonies are no colonies. Everyone knows this now. And if there be any who believe that the European race is now occupying Florida and the uh, the countries bordering on the Gulf of Mexico can colonize and supplant the colored races, supplant the colored races, they will, I think, find themselves in error. Who could not be down in those areas. Again, in the southern states, southern states go for Mexico. In the southern states, the laborer is the Negro. The fields, therefore, is, is not theirs and that they must lose in time. Hindu, oh, now this is huge right here. This is what actually happened. Watch this here. Now we already know that uh, they used the Negroes to work in areas that they was already used to. They was already used to these areas. Now watch this. In the Northern States, the Saxons is the laborer. All right, did you see that? Did you hear that? In the Northern States, the Saxon is the, is the, uh, is the laborer. Huh? That's because they brought people over from Europe, and when you look at when you look at your at your cartoon globe, you'll see that those areas line up with about the same temperature or the, or the the same climate as Europe. Also, if you take a flat Earth map, you can you can see it better on a flat Earth map. You really can see it on that. But uh, the folks that could could work down in the South were the folks who was already there. A lot of people, especially like these uh, House of Conscious folks, well, that's because you were born over here and your folks was a slave and they weren't taught they were just slaves. Okay, maybe they were slaves, but they wouldn't. They didn't come from Africa. Freezing people out of their land and trying to be them. This is what I was talking about. And yet, with all this, I doubt that the fact of his untimely making good, uh, making good his boast of his ultimately, of his ultimately becoming a race of native true born Americans like in Australia the European is now the Australian and everywhere else he's been he's become that now they're trying to tell you that he's Egyptian yeah I went to Egypt and there's a lot of European mixtures there a lot of it Her Spain thought so and where is she now Spain did not take the Americans all right where is the boasted empire of the Indies Go to the Indies now. You still see that melanated people. Now you got some folks that are mixed in, but when you look at the folks who've been there for hundreds of years, they still the melanated people. Anybody can live there now when you got uh, air conditioning. You know, you gotta have it. The native races of not yet extinct. In the southern states, there is there is a Negro population. Wait a minute. Did they just say the native races are not extinct? I told you, this book right here is full of just bombs all over the places let's take a look here again it says i'm gonna start from the top it says first for first spain thought so and where is she now where is the boasted empire of the indies the native races are not yet extinct the native races are not yet extinct in this we're talking about the native races because we're talking about number two see how you listen to what they're not trying to tell you this is a great example again the native races are not yet extinct in the southern states there is the negro population the native races are not yet extinct in the southern states there is the negro population who may one day be masters remember saint domingo people are afraid that this is going to come to fruition that's the big deal that's why we get shot so much so easily get rid of you because of again i'm gonna read it the native races are not yet extinct in the southern states there is the negro population who may one day be masters remember saint domingo this is why you keep getting shot in the streets and you're not paying attention to what's going on because of they've hidden this stuff from you they're hidden in places that we don't look they're hidden in books no we don't read books i didn't until about eight years ago hell 
53 year old man finally understanding your ass gotta read uh let's see here where we are um yeah we're gonna move into the gypsy race and this is on page 103 why did I go into the gypsy race? I got things highlighted for a reason. So let's see why I highlighted this stuff. It says on the southern border of Scotland. This is on the southern border of Scotland now. Remember where we, this is in, in Europe. Not far from the sources of Beaumont, of the Beaumont water. And in a secluded valley communicating with that vast range of mountain country. Of which the great Shivwat may be considered the center. There stands a village inhabited by at least two distinct races of men. Oh, two different races in in in, uh, in Scotland, huh? So I wonder which two white races these are. Let's see what we got. It says the common Saxon race, okay, of the south of Scotland. And the second one is the race of gypsies. What about these gypsies? These, these the gypsy people residing during the winter, the winter months in this village. Decamping like Arabs, I presume, as summer advances, late in April and early in May. Like migratory birds or quadrupeds, seeking the land and returning again with the first snow of their winter dormitory. Hmm, let's find out something about these folks down here. So I know I had these over here for some reason. This is, they're going to explain them right here. Huh. Something we need to look at here. Alrighty. I'm just gonna get it says in the meantime, the the climate of Britain has has had much less effect on them than on the surrounding Shivyoid. Swathi in complexion. What does swathi mean? Let's look that word up. Dark skin. Huh? Dark skin in Europe. In Europe. They, they would tell us that only thing that comes out of Europe is the so-called European looking folks. But now we're learning that all Europeans are not looking like what we call Europeans. Something to think about. Let's continue to march. Swathi in complexion with dark long eyes. Dark long eyes. It look like more, I guess, like an, uh, an oval eye. Black hair and somewhat of an oval face. Eastern physiognomy, neither Jewish nor Coptic. But they were swarthy. Neither Jewish nor Coptic, but they were swarthy. Neither Jewish nor Coptic, but they were swarthy. Some think about uh, neither Jewish nor Coptic nor Arab. Neither. <laughs> Here we go again. We saw this early on, but they added Jewish to it now. Uh, swarthy in co complexion, but we don't want to confuse them with the. The swarthy Jewish, nor the swarthy Coptic, nor the swarthy Arab. Boy, I tell you, again, listening to what the, the the author's not trying to tell you. You can pay attention to it. He'll tell you so much, and he didn't even try to. Let's see. Uh, mouth larger than any Europeans. Nostrils somewhat expanded. Now we're going into the Phoenician races. Okay, this is something. Let's go what we have here. We said... Hereda, let's, let's go and put that so you can actually it'll brighten it up a little bit so I can read it. It says, Herodotus says he visited Egypt. Okay, he visited Egypt. Somebody knows a little bit about him. Let's see who he is. Who was he? <coughs> He's a 5th century, back in the 5th century, the 5th century now, 5th century Greek historian. You can read all that if you want to, pause it. But all I need to know, he was a Greek historian. Now, this Greek historian says what he says about Egypt. Uh, but he could not have penetrated far into the country. Why couldn't he, this Greek, penetrate too far into the country back in the 5th century? Okay. And he asserted, and he asserts, moreover, that the people were black. Which, wait a minute. And he asserts, moreover, that the people were black. Right there. There's your Jewish, uh, your, there is your Egyptian. In a story. There's your, there's your story right there. The people were that color. Okay. Which is referred, which is, 
which is refuted by every other observation, ancient and modern. This is because of this is that biblical thing where they have to make Egypt a non melanated place. Now, that doesn't get get me deep into where Egypt really is. <laughs> Where's Egypt really? We're working on that one, buddy. Boy, my head is all squirreled up behind that one. Oh, boy. My goodness. These two guys got me messed up with that. What is this guy? I was watching this video from, uh, I want to say his name right. It's uh, Kurimio. Kurimio. Ahoy. Ahoy. Let me spell it out right. It's K U R I M E O A H A U. Man, he's another UV newser. You got to follow these cats, man. And really, when you follow them, you got to really, really keep repeating because they're going to blow you away, man. This, this young cat right here, man. Whew. Anyway, let's continue to march. Which is something we can talk about later once I get get a little bit better knowledge on it. All right. And it says, uh, let's, let's go ahead and say that again. Herodotus says that he visited Egypt, but he could not have penetrated far into the country. And he asserts, moreover, that the people were black, which is refuted by every other observation in ancient modern and uh, ancient and modern. What, what did I have here? It says uh, neither time nor climate seems to have any effect on race. Again, just repeating what it said before. People don't change their skin based on location. It just doesn't happen. All right, here we are. Page 148. This is a good one right here, man. This is like, wow. This is crazy, wow. All right. This is, this is a, man, I think this is the, another one of the biggest things you're going to find in this book. Is the, uh, the races of men. I'm in the chapter of the dark races of men on page 148. It's just here. After some 4,000 years of historic period, all we have is a chronology full of errors and falsehoods unintelligible incomprehensive we find the dark races still on the earth <laughs> it's crazy huh wow bingo what what after some 4,000 years of historic period all we have is a chronology full of errors and falsehoods unintelligible incomprehensible we find the dark race is still on earth of their ancient history absolutely nothing is known nor does it matter in what region of the globe we first view them they are confined to no particular zone but spread as it were from pole to pole now you want to call yourself african you ninny well we all came out of africa you don't know that they told you that they told me that and uh it's unfortunate that I've said that on, on earlier videos because that's what I believe. And uh, don't, don't don't beat me up for learning and changing. Because as I as I learn better, I'm gonna do better. All right, let's continue. Right, let's continue to, uh, to march here. And it says uh, these folk they spread from pole to pole. Look at that. From the Arctic. To the Antarctic Circle. From the Arctic to the Antarctic Circle. Oh, by the way, think about that. Why do they call it the Arctic Circle? Why don't they call it? Uh, what, what, I mean, what, why do they call it the Antarctic Circle? Something to think about. That's for another video. Excuse me. All right. If the laps be a dark race, then the dark races existed in Europe as a race as they already showed you earlier asia abounds with them of course they do i showed you on another video where you got melanated uh chinese and it says uh africa watch this here this is something kind of crazy here it says africa has always been considered their stronghold don't you remember that because i'm gonna come back to that in, in just a few minutes and unquestionably and unquestionably from the mediterranean shores to Cape Agulhas, the thick-lipped and copped or Bojeman. Remember what cop meant? Those are the uh, the uh, 
Those are the Egyptians. <laughs> and unquestionably, let's go ahead and highlight this right here. And unquestionably, from the Mediterranean shores to Cape Ag uh, Agulhas, the thick lipped, the thick lipped as copped a Bojiman. Copped was the Egyptian, the thick lipped Egyptian, right? Uh, or or Bojiman of all shades but fair. They had everything except so called white. Ain't that something? Ain't that something right there? Look at this here. They were all shades of all except fair. All shades except the so-called European white. Let's go ahead and read that again. Let's start over here again. And unquestionably from the Mediterranean shores to Cape Alcujas, the thick-lipped as the cop and Bosman of all shades but fair prevailed throughout. But it is in... Get this now. Like I said, we're going to come back to this here, but we get ready to come to, back to this now. It says, but it is in America that the last discovered by the, uh, the civilized Europeans, where we find the stronghold of the colored race. Africa has always been considered their stronghold. You see how they play with your mind. Let's do this here real quick. Let's, let's just take this out. Let's put this in. Let's change this here to another color. And right here it says Africa has always been their stronghold. Okay. But in America, but in America, the last discovered by the civilized European where we find the stronghold of the colored race. You see this here? You see this here? You keep on holding on to Africa if you want. Keep on being uh, ignorant like I was. I was extremely ignorant. But now I'm becoming more and more educated as I read more, as I uh, do more videos, as I watch more videos. I become more, more intelligent about who I am. Let's continue to march here. It says, from the land of the fire to the ice-bound polar sea, nature has darkened every race unmistakably nor had the Esquimox or the dark ex, uh, Eskimo it says nor had the Esquimox or the uh, nor had the Eskimox or the circumpolar races or the circumpolar races escape the colorization we dark with uh, this is a this is a European so called white guy writing this stuff this is stuff we couldn't read back when they was beating the hell out of our ancestors. Let's read this next one right here. It says, like their brethren in Asia, inhabiting the same zone, though far removed from the tropic heats, they are deeply colored, a dark race, with the intelligible osseous and other spect uh, spectral characteristics of the colored races of men asia brother asia asia we're all over the place why you keep calling yourself african this is this is them writing letters or books for them only and as you can see you can hear sometimes in there they're talking about how great they are but they slip up and tell you how great they're not because they couldn't even live on the Gulf of Mexico until they actually, they had to come and climatize themselves to live down there, down here in this heat. They couldn't do it. They came from cold, wet climates. They can't breathe as well in these climates. Uh, later on in this book, you'll find out where he's talking about, it, they caught hell living in Africa. They couldn't do it. The Sahara was kicking that ass, kicking that ass. All right, let's move on. on here on page 156, it's going to tell you about how they couldn't handle it in Africa they had to climatize same thing went on here in in the Americas watch this here alright it says I'm not going to read all of that we're just going to go straight down to it it says but alas land seeking colonial secretaries climate interfered exterminated the crews of their ships and scattered the hopes of the patriot lord at the head of their office you see that 
climate destroyed these folks, exterminated the crew of their ships, and scattered the hopes of the Patriot Lord at the head of the office. See this here? They couldn't do it. They could not do it. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. They can now, of course. When I say they, again, guys, a long video. Not talking, not talking down on you. I'm just telling you the truth. You were not meant to be in hot areas. You're not. It's just that's why this. They're trying to. I believe. Now, this is one thing I believe. I believe the sun is getting getting warmer, and I believe that they are trying to cover up the sun. In fact, I think I heard somebody said something about Bill Gates. This is a herd. I didn't see it yet. Bill Gates is trying to cover, trying to block the sun. Man, what's going on here? But let's let's continue to march here. Let's move on down to the next page. What do we have this here? It says under the dark race of men, given solves a question in his usual dogmatic way. He speaks of obvious physical inferiority of, of the Negro. Now, we're talking about physical inferiority. All right. I'm not even talking about mental yet because they put us down mentally, too. Now, he's saying the physical inferiority of the Negro, but the Negro can live anywhere. He can, as you've seen in this book, from pole to pole, from east to west, the Negro can live. So, physical inferiority. Hijack, right? Okay. He means, no doubt, the dark race is generally for the rem remarks of, uh, okay, here, oh, here it is again. When they say Negro, they put everybody together. Let me read this again. It says, give him solves a question in his usual dogmatic way. He speaks of the obvious physical inferiority of the Negro. Okay, Negro, right? He means, no doubt, the dark races generally, all of them, the dark races generally for the remark applies to all. So when they call somebody a Negro, they have mixed up all of the dark races as Negro. But now, because of some are lighter with stringing hair, it's a, oh, you're First Nation and you're African. But they call you both Negroes at one time. I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, remember, don't stop digging. This video was probably the most important video I've ever created. Wow. Especially when you get down to the... 30 minute and 20 second through the 33 minute and 25 second mark of this video. It was awesome. Awesome video. Uh, yes. Uh, I shall I say this is, it was awesome. This was an awesome book and I'm only about, uh, maybe about 55 or maybe 60% done. So the second part will be uploaded at a later date. So please like share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell right down there. And so that you can be, notified of when this next of one oh, so that you can be notified of when part two drops thanks a bunch take care peace and blessing to you and your families